this right here is the old spring box. It's got uh, cinder blocks, made out of cinder blocks, got concrete on the top end of it. Um, I wanted to make a, a short little video about something that I need to do to it. I need to do some maintenance and repairs to uh, the front door. That's just some kind of makeshift thing I did yesterday to a dam to get the water level back up to the pump. Um, because I was uh, starting to dig out some of the sediments in the bottom that had gotten real filled up with sediments. I need to do some maintenance to the bottom foundation of it. Some of those cinder blocks are starting to crumble, so I was going to put some stones in there with some concrete maybe and, and help uh, support the foundation. Um, this dam is just really kind of keeping the level up inside the spring box for my pump. You can see the water is leaking through real bad. And I've got water actually coming out of the side of the ground right here. Um, it might be coming from the spring box. It's just kind of leaking around through the ground. And there's a little trickle right here, which is coming out, you know, from the ground around here. So this whole thing, you know, it's not sealed real, real well. It's sealed in the back pretty good, I think. Uh, this thing's like 60 or 70 years old. And um, you can see the water is not real nice and clear. That might be coming from the earth right here. Um, which wouldn't really be a good thing, I don't think, because then it means that there's water all under here. You know, that's just kind of being wasted. But um, I wanted to, to start the video real quick to show, after I started digging it out yesterday, and everything kind of settled back down. You can see there's water actually bubbling out of the ground right here. I, I really hope I can get that um, on video, that kind of sediment kind of bubbling up. But I mean, you can see it, it's just turning up out of the earth right there. Now, when I had this thing drained, I, I drained it all out. Um, I tricked the pressure switch into thinking that uh, the pressure tank needed water. So I was kind of able to bypass the wiring that I've got in, under the house. I've got this pipe up here. I was just kind of pumping it all out real quick. And uh, the main source of water is actually coming from that corner. It's flown right in, and then all along the back edge, there was water pouring into it. I didn't even see that right there yesterday, but now that it's settled, you know, I can see it's... Hopefully that quality is good enough. It's just bubbling in, pooling in, you know, from the bottom. And so the plan for this is to... I need to properly seal up the front door right here. There was just a, a big sheet metal right there. And this is basically forming a creek. My estimation might be a couple gallons a minute. It might be up to four gallons a minute, three or four. Um, and that's, you know, 4,500 to 5,000 gallons a day. That's just kind of being wasted into the creek. Of course, it's going into the ecosystem, so it's not really being wasted, but... I want to harness, you know, a little bit more of it. And, of course, we're only using a couple hundred gallons a day for the horses and, and ourselves. So, But what I want to do is I want to kind of develop this box, you know. You see videos of people developing springs using a, a big piece of plastic. They dam up the, uh, the spring. They can backfill it with gravel and dirt and plastic and more dirt. And uh, there's pipes coming out of it so they can collect it into a spring box. Now, this is my spring box, which is collecting sediment. Um, so I don't know if up here, up on the hill, maybe it's already developed back there. And this is the, um, sediment trap. You know, this is the spring box here. I don't know if this box was built right on top of the spring and there is no actual development. You know, I'm, I'm not really sure how it was built, but I'm thinking I want to dam up the front of it with something, maybe concrete and I'll put some wood in and pour concrete in there. And I'm going to have pipes coming out of it so that I can collect it into my ram pump. That's the intake for the ram pump uh, that's down the hill. And um, it'll kind of kill two birds in one stone. It'll seal up the front and dam it. And um, I'll still be getting water out of it and then water coming in from the spring. Um, it'll kind of, you know, kill two birds in one stone, like I said. Um, kind of defeat two purposes in one, one project. Um... The real, the, the real issue I had, the reason, you know, why I'm really doing this is because beforehand there was a slit in the bottom and water was able to come out of it freely. And uh, the front was, you know, sealed with the metal, 
the roof, I need to redo the roof because that's that was just a bad situation. But it was actually allowing wildlife to get in here, you know, salamanders and crayfish and you know, crayfish are bottom feeders and stuff, you know, they'll clean it up some, but they do also poop as well, you know, salamanders are nasty creatures, you know, you don't want that in your water. And I think if I had this sealed up to where it was just fresh spring water from the ground and nothing could get in, but, you know, something could still get out out of my pipe here, um, I think it would be a much better situation. You know, there's uh, basically just critters getting in, you know, my water, and that's what we're using for the dishwasher and washing machine and showers and, you know, I was drinking it. <coughs> but um, we've got a, a, a UV disinfection unit in the main water system, you know, as soon as it gets in, it hits that uh, disinfection unit. So it was all, the bacteria was all killed, but, you know, you don't want to drink that. That's really not, not the best situation to be in. Um, when I dam it, I only want to be maybe a couple inches higher than I am now. I don't, I'm not going to go crazy. But um, that right there is, <clears throat> that's a sub pump. It's kind of, uh, <clears throat> it's a well pump. You know, it's used for wells, but the water level is high enough where it's just stuck down in there and got the pressure switch for the pressure tank, so it just pumps up whenever it needs to. So it's a pretty cool setup. <clears throat> um, but if anyone out there sees this, um, before I am actually start the construction, I doubt they will. I doubt I'll get a whole lot of views on it right away. But if you got any ideas for me on how I should actually seal the inside wall. I want to seal the whole front wall, seal it up real good so that nothing can get in, but I'm still going to be allowing water to get out, so it'll be fresh water all the time. Um, the The side edges, I'm not really that worried about because that's where I'm getting the spring water. The spring water is coming in from underneath, and it's coming in from that, you know, that part I showed you earlier, bubbling in from the ground. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot there. I might put some stones under there for support, but the front wall needs to be totally sealed, I guess with some hydraulic concrete or clay or something. Um, I am going to have to get in here every couple of years probably and, and dig the sediment out. I dug out probably six inches around the whole perimeter or the whole area. Um, I dug out, you know, six inches of sediment. It was real packed in there or kind of loosely packed in there, but... I think it helped my flow a lot. I got some, you know, some fresh spring water coming in from that spot right in the center. That wasn't really there before. But, uh, but yeah, if you got any ideas on how I should do it, I'd love to hear, you know, right away. Because I'm starting on this pretty much right away. But, yeah, that's kind of the, the project that, I'm, that I got going on. So, that's about it for now. Hopefully, I'll have an update here in a couple of days or so.